attention, 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 so right now it's too hard for most people. They, right. they, um, the, the authoring tools are too hard. Um, they don't have these machines. They don't have a tech shop local to them. They don't have the skills. I mean, ultimately, at the end of the day, you want to pick print, right? You want right. to go to your menu and you want to say, well, say make, right? Yeah. So you go to the menu and you pick make. And at that point, it sort of walks you through a sort of, well, here are your choices. Materials, um, cost, um, the volume, et right. cetera. Can I? You know, if I have an idea, can you imagine a day by which I can just sort of say, um, you know, I'd like to make one, a thousand, a million? <laughs> you know, can I become an entrepreneur simply by choosing a menu item? Yeah, I, I think you absolutely can. I mean, there are really two problems. One is the one you described, the being able to make one as a prototype, ten, for, ten as a hobby, yeah. you know, and, and thousands as a business. And you'll be able to do that and find the appropriate manufacturing. And the other part of the problem that we're dealing with is you know, kind of the digital equivalent of the blank sheet of paper, is how do I start? Mm. And so we're working with this thing of being able to capture images from reality, so objects from reality, and start there. And so for example, what I did, here it is. OK. So this was, oh my. This, this started out as taking a couple photographs of Chris. <laughs> <laughs> you wonder what's inside. Um, Cardboard, it turns out. <laughs> <laughs> so we, we, we took a couple photographs that, when you put them together, look just like a couple of images put together, but it's actually a 3D model in there. So oh. you not only can start with that, but you could also take that and, for example, you could modify it. So you'll get into this thing where you'll capture reality, you can modify it, and then you can print it. So, for example, if you want smaller ears or a bigger nose or more hair or yes, whatever yes, it is, please, yes, please, <laughs> you can you can get all you can get all that in your cardboard model. So you can even imagine. I mean, just starting with kids, take you take images with your iPhone. Yeah. You take that, you upload them to the cloud. It creates a 3D model. You get it back. You hit print, and you decide. I want the little plastic one. I want the one made out of metal. I want the one out of plexiglass, or I want, you know, whatever I want and as many as I want. So we're... This the Chris Anderson keychain is for sale in the lobby. <laughs> so a scanner, a 3D scanner, can be as simple as a phone? Yeah. So you can, you can just do this with it. That's the interesting thing. And that's what, I mean, in some ways, that's really what disruption's about. So we didn't even know why we wanted digital cameras. Now we all have digital cameras in our phones. Um, you walk around with it. You take about 10 photos with a typical digital, with, with a regular cell phone, and you can make a 3D model out of it. And then the point is not simply to replicate, but to enhance, modify right. you know, the, the derivative designs. Yeah, so I, I look at a chair that I like, or I'm in a store and I see something. There's all kinds of issues around copyright I was that, get, that have to get wrestled with it. Some, but, but you know, the history of design is people building upon each other's good ideas. So you look at something, you see it, but it's not quite right. It's not quite the right size. It's not the right material. You, you take existing things, and it could be existing designs of your own or others. You modify those, and you manipulate it, and you make it better.